What's this called? Picture frame. Hey folks, Carl here and welcome to episode two of the Cobble Street. Okay, folks, so we are prepped and ready. We are going to be using some PVA glue. It'll go into a little pot here. And instead of spreading the uh, PVA onto the frame, all we're going to do is get our pieces, dip them into the PVA, and then put them into place on the picture frame. So I'm going to get that uh, all prepped and ready and uh, we shall start we're going to start off with um, the curbstone around the edge here and then we will move on to the cobbles themselves and we'll start with the edging cobbles here and over here and then we will uh, start to fill it in I have a very big suspicion we are not going to have enough cobbles here to do this whole thing but uh, you never know. We will see how we get on. Of course, it's easy enough to make a pile more. So I can get the PVA and everything out. And uh, the, most of this video is probably going to be a time lapse of uh, this coming together. So talk to you later. Okay, folks, so there we go. We have the curbstones in place. So the next stage is, of course, the thinner cobbles that we've made. They're going to go across the edge here, here, and they're going to go across that section and that section for the junctions of the road as well. So exactly the same process, dip in glue, put in place, nice and easy. So again, just going to be time lapse not much to talk about while we're doing this so i shall talk to you in a moment
Okay, folks. There we go. That is all of the edging done. So we've got around each edge of the curb and we've got the divider for the streets starting to come together. So now we can get rid of these small ones. We may end up using some for the um, side panels and things like that, but um, we shall see. These are no good. Over this side, we've been putting these over because they've got air bubbles and things like that in them. So we are going to just get these into the bin. Also, we've got to decide where we're going to want the manhole cover, whether we want it over this side somewhere or maybe in the junction itself. Who knows? We've got to decide where we want it. So I'm going to have a think about that, but we are going to get these off to one side. They're not needed anymore. And we're pulling out the main cobbles, which are slightly bigger and a bit more square, as you can see there. So we are now going to get these put into place. So again, time lapse. So talk to you in a bit. Okay, folks, there we go. As you can see, we have finished the corner piece and we've gone for a very, as best we can, for a, an oval pattern. We've surrounded the manhole cover with a circular set there. 
So now all we've got left to do is fill this square and this square and uh, that will be the laying of the cobbles complete. So again, I'm just going to carry on doing this. We'll probably do a little bit of time lapse again and uh, talk to you very shortly. Okay, folks, so as you can see, we have now completed that section of the row. We have been exceptionally lucky and we have fitted right up to the very edge. So that was fortunate. Hopefully we'll be as fortunate this side, but uh, we shall wait and see. So that's where we're up to. We are going to continue and get this last little section done. And that is all of the cobblestones in. I've actually got quite a bit more cobblestones left than I was expecting. I didn't expect that I would have enough, but uh, yeah, they have gone a lot further than I expected. So I'm going to get on and get this finished. So talk to you in a moment.
okay folks so there we go we are all complete um, pretty happy with how that's come out and we used nowhere near as many cobbles as I was expecting we still have quite a few left so possibly enough for another project of similar size so where are we going next so next we are going to give this a seal with some PVA um, once the whole thing is completely dry again we'll just give the whole thing another coat in PVA we're then going to fill this in these gaps here with a little bit of uh, polyfiller just to to raise it up a little bit this side is going to be covered in mud and some static grass this side the plans are we're going to build a fence uh, with a wooden uh, wooden fence posts and wire between we of course have the lamp post to put in with the uh, the connectors for that which are there and then uh, we'll put some wires off that as well down bank so it looks like they're all snapped and hanging off and of course we'll put static grass and stuff this side as well or we may see if we can put like a little pavement in there not sure yet but it's more than likely just going to be a fence some static grass mud effects and the telegraph pole and then of course on this is going to be parked the e-models guest build of the ICM 135th ambulance so I'm going to call this video here it's just a very quick short one a quick time lapse video of doing the uh, probably the hardest part and um yeah we're going to call the video there so as always thank you very much for watching be good be safe and as always keep making models we'll see you next time ta-ta